Now let's talk a little bit about the freakishly large pick, the large rounded pick. It is a very large pick, as you can see, about the size of, um, of my thumb. And the width right here is about the size of a match. Um, and uh, it, it is a large pick designed for Carlos Santana. And if you know him, he's very um, into tone. And um, all the notes that are going to play are really going to be brought alive with this pick. <laughs> in your in your playing are gonna, are gonna be brought alive now because it is so large um, some really fast players might not be very comfortable with that pick um, although it is possible to play fast um, you might choose something a little smaller if you're really into fast playing if fast playing is really part of your style however if you're into tone if you're into heartfelt notes um, the freakishly large uh, V pick is definitely um, one of your best bet out there. Um, then we can move a little a little lower. If if uh, the freakishly large is too large for you, you can go with the large V pick. Um, it is very similar to the freakishly large, slightly smaller, smi slightly rounder, and uh, this is a very versatile pick. Um, once again, the tone you're going to get out of it is going to be extremely accurate. Whenever you play loud notes, they're going to have some, some kind of um, um, purity to them. And you're really going to be able to, to bring out the loud notes in there. And if you want to play soft, it's going to be very easy to, to variate those variations. Because it's a little smaller, um, you might be a little more comfortable for faster runs. But, um, once again, if you're really into speed, um, the pick that is coming up pretty soon is really your, um, your choice. However, this is a great pick for uh, blues players um, and uh, rock players as well. And... Um, Actually, it makes a really good bass pick as well because it's really large, fits well in the fingers, and um, is a great pick for a bass as well if, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, next one down is uh, the small V pick, the small rounder V pick. Uh, great, great pick, great versatile pick. Um, it's the original, um, very um, versatile as I said. Many different styles um, can be used with that pick. And the comfort of this pick is, uh, is fairly amazing to me. When I picked it up, I was really impressed with how it fit into my, um, my right hand. It is a very comfortable pick to play with. Um, you can play really fast with it. Uh, very slow as well. Once again, the nuances that you're going to get with this pick is fairly amazing. Um, great choice if uh, you're not sure which pick to get. I would definitely recommend the small rounded. It's a it's a really nice uh, V pick. And then the last one of um, of uh, this pack, which is called the Fab Four, um, is the the small pointed pick. And um, this personally is my absolute favorite. I picked it up, and my my whole ability to play fast runs was. Um, it's like I knew how to do it right away. It's very small, and uh, it fits extremely well on the in the fingers. Um, it seems that this pick was designed for me. Um, all the fast runs sound really clear, and it's actually a lot easier to play fast because of the way that this pick holds, fits my finger, and also because of the qualities of the acrylic. Once uh, that, that I said again, once you're warmed up a little bit, it kind of holds to your to your finger. Um, without really um, having to squeeze that much to hold the pick. You have a really nice grip because it, it just kind of sticks to your finger and allowing your whole wrist to be really relaxed. Very, very comfortable pick. This is my absolute favorite. I love this pick. 
And then we have another pick called the Screamer. Um, this is a very popular pick as well, the Screamer. Why the Screamer? Because um, the way that this pick is designed, it's, um, it's, it's kind of a balanced pick between the pointy pick and the round pick that we had. It's not as pointy as the small pointed pick. It's not as round as the large rounded pick, but it's a, a good medium balanced pick. And it's a, it's a great pick to, uh, to bring out all the harmonics. Um, because you can really, it's, it's not too large so that your thumb covers the whole thing, and it's not too pointy so that the thumb does everything. It's, it's the perfect balance, and you know when you, when you do harmonics, you want to play the note right between the pick and your thumb. This is an excellent choice if you're into harmonics. <laughs> As you can hear, I'm not really in high distortion, which facilitates the the harmonics. I'm really I'm, I'm in a more mellow kind of um, soft distortion sound, which is actually harder to bring out the harmonics. But you can really hear that. It's really easy to bring out harmonics. So imagine with a high gain sound um, how this pick sounds. Uh, great pick. Great pick for a lot of different stuff. It's uh, probably my second favorite. My favorite favorite being the small pointed pick because of the qualities that it has. This is an extremely well balanced pick as well. Um, no matter what kind of V pick you get, as long as you uh, choose wisely and it fits your style and, and the kind of stuff you want to do on the guitar, it's going to be perfect for you. I highly recommend these picks for the tone and for the comfort. Um, it's really going to improve your playing if you choose wisely. And uh, just get the, the Fab Four pack if you're not sure because it's going to have a nice combination of, of the qualities of these picks. You will get the freakishly large pick, which is the Santana kind of pick, the large rounded pick, which we talked about earlier, um, and uh, the medium rounded, and then the small pointed pick that I talked about earlier that is really good for fast runs. Um, definitely worth checking out.